now press the tape button to get back the toolbar select the file open one new image file m2 now the total image is appear to select the here I mean to composition the here it's very impossible using the mercury tool for that reason we have to go through in a different process we have to open a new file and change the unit into inches and height should be 8 and width should be 12 now select the move tool and select the layer 1 convert it into the new file now select the m2 psd file and move to the untitled that file now in the history palettes you have to drop down the layer 2 down the layer 1 and set it according to your choice the layer 2 is already fitted with the windows now we are going to change with the background color using the eye drop select the image color and press alter backspace now select the layer 2 select elliptic marquee tool and make one circle over the first image use the feather make it 100 now once again right click and select inverse and press delete button twice thrice now press ctrl D to disappear the selection now one model is already over now we can get the same effect or the same image using the another options now select layer 2 press LL and yes the bridegroom image is disappear now select the background press control backspace to changing the color background color select the m2 psd file and select load selection press ok the selection appearing on the screen now select inverse now go to the edit options press copy and paste now go to the layer layer style color overlay in the color overlay window select the color in blend mode option and using the eye drop tools select the background image and we are getting the same background of the main image now select the both layer and locked them select layer merged linked it's a making in a one particular image now select that image to untitled file now using the leptic marquee tool select the round selections go to the feather and give the value 100 and make it ok now select the inverse and press delete twice and thrice now this effect is as like as the previous one now there is a various method there is another method to get the same effect to changing the same process
till this time you already learned how to merge one picture with the solid color background now we are going to learn to merge one particular picture with the scenery for that reason we are going to open one scenery the scenery is appearing on the screen now the color of the sky it's not similar with the main image which is we are going to merge for that reason select the layer and select the load selection now the load selection is appearing on the screen now we are going to merge this picture select the select inverse then once again right click or go to the edit options copy and paste now it's showing on the history palettes now select the bridegroom and march to the scenery now this color i mean the background color of the main scenery is not proportional with the main pictures background for that reason we have to select the layer layer style color overlay now here we already got one options blended mode from here we are going to select the color the color is going to similar as like as the scenery's color using the eye drop tool now make okay now we are going to flatten the both layers and making it one using the layer and merge linked now we are going to move the bridegroom pictures into the scenery layer now press the tab button the toolbar is disappear and using the shift and alt key we are equally transforming the whole image then press enter now press tab button now press elliptic marquee tool and draw one circle over the bridegroom image right click give the value of the feather 135 press okay now once again right click and select inverse press delete once twice now the image already merged with the scenery now press control d for the disappear the selection and control z for the zooming the both the side of the face is visualizing little bit dark and feeling odd for that reason we have to select the portion the face portions properly and select the layer 7 select fade option give the value 100 press okay then go to the layer option new layer and press then we are getting one new layer now this layer 
is appearing on the layer palettes and using the eye drop tool we are getting the same color of the image and press alt backspace twice now press control d to disappear the border now press filter blur motion blur to get the exact effect of the background which is little bit motions for that reason we are increasing the distance of the blur and adjusting with the background image now 3 not 94 is the correct one now the picture is totally masked with the scenery now the whole process is completed we can close the application which is already open this is the process to complete one whole project